ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರವಿಕುಮಾರ್ ಕೋಲರು ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಗ್ಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಈಚ್ ದ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಟೆಡ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಯರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಎ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ and how much time it will take for development so here it means we, we need to verify that what is the cost of the uh, software and how much time the sh- uh, schedule it will be taken to complete the uh, software cost estimation so these estimates are necessary and needed before initiating development so before uh, starting the software development they need to know about what is the uh, cost of the software and how much time it will take for uh, software to develop the software development but the main critical problem that arises during software estimation is lack of case studies of projects it means mainly uh, for uh, before starting any project or the development of the software the team members and the project manager must uh, deal with the case studies it means they need to verify about so whether if you store this software what is the budget and what is the estimation of a time we require so they need to check that each and every constraints to be stored before any development of the software or a project but here is really in a well documented manner that used an iterative development approach so for this one first they required the uh, documentations of the software to do the development of the software so all the cost model vendors claim that the tools are suitable for estimating iterative development projects few are based on empirical project database with modern iterative development success stories so here we have the different criteria that we need to verify about the different types of the tools what you are using now so that uh, to verify that uh, what are the empirical and modern tools we are going to implement in the software cost model estimation so here the here the software industry has inconsistently defined metrics or atomic units of measure the data from actual projects are highly suspect in terms of consistency and comparability for any software development the companies the organizations mainly they need to define the metrics or the some units to measure these software projects to develop the software uh, software to the, uh, for the software projects so that for each and every this software has to be consistency and compatibility to the various uh, domains okay so it is very hard uh, enough to collect a homogeneous set of project data within one organization it is extremely difficult to homogenize data across different organization with different processes language domains and so on. so it means here homogeneous is starting with the similar set of the projects so they are going to collect the uh, components uh, having the different types of the process so that to collect the different types of the language domains so this is related to the homogeneous set of the project so here uh, example so we have the fundamental unit of size it means it will be mainly depends upon the source line of code or we have the functional point can be and it is counted different uh, differently across the industry so mainly for 15% of the cost will be mainly considered based upon the uh, source line of code or can call as using the functional point in the software industry here so it is surprising that modern language standards such as ada 95 and java don't make a simple definition of a source line reportable by the company so may it does not matter that uh, maybe uh, not depends upon the uh, source line of code so it, it may be default based on some standard language uh, programming like ada 95 and uh, java 
So there have been many long-standing debates among developers and vendors of software cost estimation mo models and tools are there. So we have the different types of the tools and techniques uh, for estimation of the software uh, so that they can use the different types of the models as well as the techniques or the tools to calculate the uh, estimation of a software. So here we have the, the main questions. So which cost estimation model to use? So to calculate this, what are the main method or technique we are going to implement for estimation of a cost? So next one is whether to measure software size in source line of code or function code. So mainly uh, it depends upon the line of code or by using the number of functional points in the uh, software development so that they can consider they may consider this uh, software size uh, so this software size is mainly depends upon the number of lines of code or it may be depends upon the number of uh, functional points in the software and the last one is so what constitutes a good estimate so what are the metrics we require to estimate a good software cost estimation so here these are the main uh, uh, constraints of the questions which are arised uh, together. So about 50 vendors of uh, software cost estimation tools, the data and the surveys come within the software industry. So uh, the stakeholders will be there to discuss what are the models they need to use to calculate the cost estimation for the software as well as the models, the techniques and the tools can be used. So among that, so we have Kokomo model. So Kokomo model is the best uh, best thing to calculate the software cost estimation. So Kokomo means constructive cost model is a regression model based on line of code that is the more number of uh, lines of code. So it will be calculated based upon the uh, source line of code. Okay. So there are several popular cost estimation models such as Kokomo one, Kokomo two. So checkpoint, Estimax, knowledge plan, prices, Pro QMS, SEER, SLIM, soft cost, and SPQR20. So as well as numerous organization specific models. So not only this, we have the different types of the cost estimation models will be there. It depends upon the organization. So what are the techniques they are going to implement to calculate the software cost estimation? So among all of them, so Kokomo model is one of the most open and well documented cost estimation model. So this Kokomo model having the well structured documentation for estimation of the software. So at present, most of the real world use of cost model is bottom up rather than top down. So here we have the two types of scenario will be there. So one is a bottom up approach and we have the uh, top down approach. So, here in this, uh, mainly they are using the bottom approach. It means so it will come from the uh, uh, bottom to up. So, here these are the main techniques they are going to implement to calculate the cost models. So, the manager of software project defines and describes target cost of software and after that, until target cost can be justified. It manipulates parameters and size. So actually here, the manager will check the different criteria uh, to verify the, to get the target cost of the software. So based upon the justification of the cost, so there may be changes or there may be modifications in the parameters and the size in the software as well as the source line of code here. So here, uh, the process is described in, uh, in diagram is very necessary to analyze and predict cost risk and understand sensitivities. So here we have the uh, so software manager, software architecture manager, software development manager, software assessment manager. So these are the expert members which will sit here and they are going to estimate the cost models, it means this project must cost dollar X to win this business. So that these team members will be going to calculate the what is the cost of the project and what are the development of the software so that to gain more profit for this organization. So they 
the cost estimation will be happened. So here, how justify that cost? So the justification of the cost will be happened based upon the parameters and the size of the source line of code here. So meanwhile, then again, it is an iterative process. There may be occur the risk, the options, trade-offs of the alternatives. So these cost estimates will be modified based upon the justification of the cost estimation. So here, it simply forces manager of a software project to examine and find out a risk associated with achieving target cost and to discuss and explain this gain information with other stakeholders. So there, there may be a deep discussion between the stakeholders, the project manager and the team members like software manager and software architecture manager, software development manager and software assessment manager. So they are going to cater this software uh, estimation to justify to the stakeholders. So this diagram mainly explains how they are going to calculate the software and also to gain the uh, profit in the organization. So many software experts have argued that SLOC is a uh, lossy measure of size. It means uh, here the software experts will be mainly discussed so not only this SLOC, there may be different types of the criteria to calculate the software cost estimation. So mainly when you are considering this SLOC, it is an a lossy measure of a size. So for example, if you are considering this uh, core segment, so there we have the thousand source line program and most people feel comfortable with its general mass. It means they have only the thousand uh, source line. So based upon that, they are going to describe uh, what how many function points are there? So, for example, they are considered the function points as 20 and 6 classes and 5 use cases and 4 object points, 6 files and 2 subsystems, 1 component, or we can call as we can consider as a 6000 bytes. So, most people, including software experts, would ask further questions to gain an understanding of the subject code. So SLOC is one measure that still has some value. So here, when you when you are considering this SLOC, so this is the one of the most criteria to calculate the cost. So other than we have the different types of the criteria to calculate the uh, software cost estimation based upon the uh, function points what you are using, the number of classes, the number of use cases, and object points, the files, and the subsystems. And also the more number of components. So uh, how many components we are going to implement in the software development. So today language advances and the use of components, automatic source code, generations and object orientations have made SLOC a much more ambiguous method. So here by using this SLOC, so they, we have the advancement of the components. So that's why uh, the present era mainly they are using the 70% of the components for the software development and automatic source code generations. So here by placing the uh, pictorial or the diagram, so automatically the source code will be generated and they may be using the object orientations so that this SLOC have a much uh, measurements of the calculate the cost estimation in the software. So here, anyone doing a cross project or a cross organization comparisons should be using function points as the measure of a size. So here, they may be when they are using the cross projects or the cross organization comparisons. So it will be different from one company to the another company. So when you are comparing the project to the, uh, with the different companies, the different types of the criteria of the projects. So they mainly they are using the function points as the measure of a size here. So instead of taking the SLOC, they may be considering the function points also so that to measure the size. These function points are also probably a more accurate estimator in the early phase of a project life cycle. So by considering these function points, so it, it will give the more accuracy to estimate the cost of the software. Seeing so later, we can take the SLOC becoming more useful. So initially, we need to consider as a function points. 
then next stage we need to consider as a uh, source line of a code so that it will be very useful and precise uh, measurement basis of various metrics perspective so the general accuracy of the conventional cost model such as when you are considering as a kokomo model so that uh, there we are getting the 20% of actuals and 70% of the time so when you are considering the kokomo model so this 70% uh, of the time will be depends on the accuracy so how for the development of the cost so this level of unpredictability in the conventional software development process uh, should be truly fortunate to our investors especially in light of the fact so that few projects miss their estimate by doing uh, better than expected so there may be mainly a negotiation between the project management vendors or the stakeholders or we can consider as a clients so they are having some level of predictability so they need to verify that whether the uh, estimation of the project completion within the stipulated time and the cost so only the 10% of the software projects will be completed uh, within the stipulated time and the cost so remaining 90% is very highly unpredictable so there is a mainly a uh, frightening between the investors uh, between the organization and the vendors so that they may miss few projects they estimate by doing that better than expected so this is an interesting phenomena to be considered when scheduling labor intensive effort so here that's why you need to check that specific incentives are provided for beating the overall schedule so projects really do better than planned why means so we need to give the uh, incentives uh, based upon the over time so that uh, they may do the projects with an effort and complete within the stipulated time here so the teams and individuals perform sub planning to meet their objectives so if the time objective is limited so they either expand energy elsewhere in further trying helping others or roofing of or they continue to add quality beyond what is necessary so mainly the project uh, we require the three things first they are going to check the quality the time and the cost here so they they never compromise about the quality so they are almost never uh, proposed to accelerate the schedule so if they did their suggestion would must likely meet with the software manager so they need to check that the time the cost and the quality of the project within the stipulated time here so here uh, we have the uh, a few parameters are there to define the quality of a soft any software products so where the outcome of the kokomo or ha having the it depends upon the effort and the schedule so what is meant by effort so effort is nothing but the amount of labor that will be required to complete a task and it is measured in persons month units so here the effort is mainly measured with the the number of labors Uh, which are impacted to the software project to complete the task so that they they are going to calculate the person month units and the schedule so this is very simple schedule means that they are going to calculate the amount of time required for the completion of of the, of the job so which is of the course proportional to the effort so here they are going to check the amount of the time they have taken for the completion of the job here so mainly it will be measured in times uh, in the units of time such as the weeks or the months so these are the main uh, two key parameters uh, for the kokomo model and we have the different uh, types of uh, estimations of the uh, prediction of the cost estimation in the kokomo model so we have the three uh, different types of the kokomo uh, models one is organic next one is semi detached and next one is embedded so we will see the comparison between the organic uh, semi detached and embedded okay so first one is organic so the organic uh, the project size is typically we have the uh, 250 kloc so here kloc is nothing but the, the thousands line of code so here they may be having the 250 thousand line of code the project size and the nature of project where we are going to implement this Project so small size project 
experienced developers in the familiar environment such as payroll uh, inventory projects so mainly it will be applicable for the generation of the payroll or the inventory projects and innovation is very little here so only slight modifications of the projects will be applied here and the deadline of the project is it's not tight because uh, every month they, they need to generate the pay, uh, payrolls and development environment so it is very familiar and it is mainly used in the inos next one is uh, semi detached in the semi detached the project size is typically 50 to 300 kvc so it is around having the 50 to 300000 uh, line of code here kvc is nothing but 1000 line of code here so mainly it will be applicable for the medium size project and medium size team and average uh, previous experience on similar project for example it will be mainly considered in the utility system like compilers database systems editors etc so these are the mainly having the uh, medium size of the project so that they are going to check the experience so whether they have done with the similar projects and the innovation is medium and deadline of the project also it will be medium and development environment also it will be considered as a medium here the last one is embedded so in embedded so it will be having the typically over 300 kvc so mainly this will be applicable for the large project and real time systems complex interfaces very little previous experience so uh, best example atms a traffic control etc so for the a traffic control mainly we require the uh, real time system so we need to update the real time of the traffic control signals okay as well as the complex interfaces and we we need to check that the updates and uh, the uh, customers uh, customers of the account so that it will be mainly applicable in the large project so this in innovation is is significant and the deadline of the project is very tight because it within the schedule of the time so the data has to be done and the development environment is very complex hardware is very complex and also having the customer interface required okay so now we'll see the what are the main constraints to contribute the good software cost estimate so we have the list of the points here to estimate the good software estimation so here it is simply a consent so that is mainly it depends upon the plan as well as the supported by the project manager architecture team development team and test team responsible for performing work and task so initially the project manager will discuss the problem statement with the stakeholder or we can call as the vendor so there there will be a discussion with between the stakeholder and the project manager so after that the expert team will be sitting so the expert team is such as the architecture team and development team testing team and develop, uh, deployment team so these team will be going to uh, discuss and they are going to draw the blueprint of the architecture and they are having the mainly they are going to assign uh, have the well documented for the software project so these are the main responsible for performing the work and the task so here and the next one is all the stakeholders generally accept it as a ambiguous but realizable so when when they are going to discuss with the team members of the project manager or the team development team and the test team so they are going to convince to the stakeholders to accept uh, how they are going to convince to the vendors so it is based on a well defined and efficient cost model of a software on a credible basis so later on they are going to estimate the cost model of the software based upon the well defined uh, metrics so that and efficiently uh, calculating the software project so it is also based on a similar project experience database that includes and contains similar processes relevant technologies relevant environments relevant quality requirements and all similar people so here uh, they are going to check that uh, whether they are having the similar uh, project experience previous project experience so that it will be very helpful to for the smooth process of the 
similar process and the relevant technologies what they're going to use and uh, without any having the more uh, quality assurance and the relevant uh, quality requirement so that it will be very uh, easy to handle this uh, software projects and also it is also defined and explained in much amount of detail so that all of its key risk are simply understood and probability of success is objectively assessed so when are culture the uh, similar project uh, experience so previous experience so that it will be very helpful to tackle this project to complete within the schedule and within the budget so that the key risk are very simple and having the more profit and extrapolating from a good estimate an ideal estimate would be derived from a mature cost model so with an experience base that generally reflects more similar projects so here by the taking the same team with a similar mature process and tools here so that the good estimation of a software will be mainly derived based upon the cost models so when you are considering the uh, kokomo model so there we have the three different types of the models so based upon that uh, organic semi detached and the embedded so nature of the project so that they can, they are going to handle the same team the similar mature process and tools okay and it contains an extra details such as the supporting the documentation so here the documentation is the very uh, helpful to the software developers uh, to do the task in a proper manner or any information that could be relevant to the estimate for the not only for doing the uh, project and to estimate the cost software cost estimation is very helpful when you are having the in detail document well document documentation for estimation of the cost so it stresses how important it is to keep the cost estimates updated and revised on a frequent basis as the project moves forward and new information becomes available so here how we are going to estimate the cost so how we are going to uh, update the and revised so based upon the frequent basis so when you are having the adequate information uh, for new information uh, to update in the software so it will be very useful to update and uh, easily to incorporate all this project data into the software cost estimation and any assumptions that are made throughout the estimation process are documented so each and every modifications are they are going to update or they are going to write the things so they need to have in detail documentation so it generates a project schedules and calculate the amount of time needed for each task or activity so here the project schedules will be calculated based upon the time and what uh, different types of the task they are going to use here or different types of the models they are going to consider here so it will be mainly impacted with the uh, project schedules okay now here what are the use of cost uh, software cost estimation so here we have the one needs to choose and determine how many engineers are required for project to do a develop and establish a schedule during a planning stage so in the initial stage only they are going to uh, estimate that how many engineers are required for this project and how many developers are required uh, for this uh, software project estimations so that they are going to check that the number of uh, people they required and for the development uh, initially they are going to schedule all this in the uh, planning stage only and the next one is while monitoring project progress one needs to access whether the project is progressing towards achieving a goal according to the procedure and whether it takes corrective action or not it means so the review meetings will be happen every uh, quarterly or annually it means they are going to check that what is the progress of the project so whether the team members are doing the project in a proper manner or not if they are not doing the project in a proper manner they are going to take as a corrective actions if not simply they are going to okay they are use some suggestions to do the task in a possible manner so it makes it possible to allocate resources such as lab labor tools and supplies in a way that maximize effectiveness and reduce waste so they try to minimize the wastage so that to allocate the resources so efficiently they are going to allocate the resources such as the labor tools and 
supplies in a way that maximize the effectiveness so to minimize this wastage so the resources are to be utilized in a proper manner and cost estimates are used as a starting point for talks and agreements between parties when negotiating contracts or project requirements so these cost estimates are mainly using the starting points for talks it means there, there should be a, a agreement between the stakeholders or the vendors as well as the organization of the uh, project manager so the contracts will be initiated so negotiations will be happened for the project requirements and also they are going to offer a shared understanding of the financial concerns and facilities open and honest communication among project stakeholders so here they are going to share all the financial uh, matters and the facilities honest communication between the stakeholders and the organization so these stakeholders and the developers will be their software developers and the project manager will be act like a mediator between the stakeholders and the uh, software development so what are the problems will faced that this project manager will be going to discuss with with uh, to the software developers as well as the stakeholders so it affects resource allocations and project duration that is why the amount of time needed for various project activities is a crucial component in cost assessment so resource allocation efficient resource allocation and for the project duration is very vital uh, role for calculating the amount of time so that it is having the crucial component in cost assessment so so resource allocation is the very important for allocating for the software project so these are the references i have referred for this uh, topic okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates